Oh yeah. Wait. Do I need to more be more this way? Or do I need to be more this way? I think I had this figured out by now. Oh. Uh. Move. More. Here, Brian Benjamin Andrews live and to take. Yeah. Uh, we made it back from the next big one, and what a big one it was, ladies and gentlemen. And I mean that wholeheartedly. What a fucking show! There's a lot coming out of this, there's a lot going into this. We got three matches. Three matches, and we got some big, we got some big time announcements to make tonight as well. Um, as you can see uh, on your screen here, Sting is going to be. Hold on, I need to get rid of my window selection now. Some such. Distract me. There we go. All right, Sting's going to start us off. He's got something to say. We haven't seen Sting in a little while, but following the events of the next big one, feels he's got something to say. He's gonna start us off tonight. Let's load her in. Yes. And we'll be seeing Sting very, very soon. But first you must travel through time, space, and dimension, along with me to finally arrive right here in Scuff. City USA, you are live, live, son, in the conglomerated athletic competition space. And the people are going wild in Scuff City because they know a quick action is about to come to them. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Brian Benjamin Andrews, the purveyor of violence tonight. And we have a good show of violence for you. But to start things off, the stinger, the icon, has got something to say. I needed to run down the goddamn card. That's all right. As we load in, we got three matches for you. Like I said, uh, number one of which, the debuting Rowdy Roddy Piper going against a man that made his debut at the next big one. And he was this close to getting a number one contendership in the King of Games, big strong Tony Adams. All right, and uh, there are two more matches planned, but the Stinger is ready. So we're going to go to ringside now with the Stinger. Oh, yeah. Don't turn your back on the wolf pack, because you might end up in a body bag. Give it up for Sting 98, the best Sting of all time, according to the council. They're very eager to hear what he has to say tonight. I'm going to paraphrase, because he can't actually talk. But the Stinger wants everyone to know that he's so happy to be here in Scuff City tonight. Yes, he is. And after what happened last night in the main event, he felt he had to come down and say something. Everyone knows that Sting's a good guy. Sting's a good guy. But maybe he's got some friends that you wouldn't think of as being so good. You might notice that I'm out here in the red and black. That is because I'm representing my friends in the Wolfpack and the NWO. John Cena has been the World Heavyweight Champion for a long time. And I can tell you right now that the Stinger says that he can beat him. And he wants to represent the NWO in that endeavor to finally take down the World Heavyweight Champion, John Cena. Oh, is he making the challenge right now?
Wait a second. Wait a second. Well, that's the collective's music. It is John Cena! The World Heavyweight Wrestling Champion coming out to meet Sting in the ring. Yeah, he was hitting toward the challenge. That's what I thought anyway. John Cena stopping him at the pass. Look at him. Oh, yeah. All right, John, what do you got to say here? I think what John Cena is trying to say is that he uh, understands and appreciates and recognizes the impact that Sting has made on the wrestling business for these past 30 some years. 100%. 100%. Oh, but. But you don't got it anymore? Oh, okay. Sting says, I don't got it anymore. I don't got it anymore. Sting's the one busting his ass week in, week out in AEW, still making big stars when John Cena wants to sit on top like a despot on a desperate throw. The MWO comes in and does more than shake things up. They rattle the foundations. Oh, Cena's not liking hearing this. Oh, so, oh, so now I'm the one. I'm the one holding my spot. Okay. Okay, that's right. How many roster slots does AEW have open? And you're still gonna take a spot. Okay, I'm just the best wrestler that's ever existed doing my thing and winning titles. Okay. Yeah, you've always been the establishment, haven't you? That's what Sting's saying. But you know something? The NWO doesn't come in to play nice with people. The NWO comes in to wreck shit take power and take gold and he better get his ass ready because this is it for John Cena this is it yeah you bring the NWO you bring that fossil Hogan you bring Scott Hall and Kevin Nash you bring anyone you want to bring I don't care how strong the NWO is I don't care how strong you say the NWO is I've lived by one creed my whole life, and that's hustle, loyalty, respect. And it's that that's gonna keep me that belt. Oh, if you're so sure, well, why don't you put the belt on the line tonight then? We're both dressed to compete. The people wanna see it. We're gonna do it now. What do you say, John? We're not, obviously, we're not going to do it here at quick action. This isn't the time or the place when you know it. You want to talk about what this is or what this isn't? What this is, is me beating your ass. And you better be ready for a big show. Because I'm going to beat you on the biggest one yet. That's, that's plenty. That's plenty. That's plenty. That's plenty. Sting's giving him the ring. All right, you're the champ. You're the champ, John. Just know the wolf pack is nipping at your heels. All right? All right. We're going to get into our first matchup tonight. I need some water. Rowdy Roddy Piper has gone global making his Global Sport Council debut against the man that made his debut at the next big one, Thick Strong, Tony Adams. Oh man, what a scramble to the top for that briefcase it was at the next big one. Oh, Big Tone, so close, so close, knocked down at the last second. Oh, heartbreaking, heartbreaking. Another man claims that briefcase, but the man here looking to establish himself in the rankings of the globe. If you want to do that, Rowdy Roddy Piper could be the man to see. Let's pump these entrances up. Let's get it rocking and rolling. Okay. Oh, I love 
Bravo, making his way to the ring from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 230 pounds, Rowdy Roddy Piper! Dan Strait from Glasgow, Oregon, the Rowdy one. How many belts has he had? Well, he's got one good one, former Intercontinental Champion. But the value of Rowdy Roddy Piper goes far beyond championship belts. You want to talk about icons? That's an icon right there. He's come here to kick ass and chew bubblegum. By God, he's all out of gum. Don't let the kill fool you! Don't let the kill fool you. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The Piper is not, Piper's not looking for an easy one tonight. What a mountain. Thank you. From Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 260 pounds, Big Tony Adams. The big strong man. And he's coming in off a big strong performance at the next big one. This close. This damn close, man. No doubt. Exhibition action. Rowdy Roddy Piper. Big strong Tony Adams. Let me set this down. We're gonna get a pop in here tonight. Yeah, meaning center of the ring. Nice body slam. Countering that double action by Big Strong. Piper looking to nope. Looking to get tripped by Big Strong Tony Adams. Nice kicks right there. Oh, scrubbing his face. Oh, elbow drop. Right to the small of the back Piper. There you go, repeated shots. Looks like Tony Adams, oh, taking control early. What are you gonna do about it? Oh, what are you gonna do about it, Piper? Big Tom taking control. Enziguri swiped off. Now it's Piper. Ooh, elbow to the dome. Nice, nice straight shot. Adams taking Piper to the corner with a big splash, the avalanche. 265 pounds, man. 265 pounds, man. And a running DDT by Piper. That's gotta even it up a little bit. Oh, Piper, watching the boot across the head of Tony. Hey, look, look at him now with a nerve hole. He's got to be driving a knuckle or two. Not, not going to be enough. Do you see how... He's a big man. You can't do it with one arm. Tony Adams making him pay for that. Piper countering out. Repeated shots running clothesline. Who bumps Adams. Doesn't take him down. Damn. Piper, big running clothesline. That takes him down. Piper with the count, gonna get one, gonna get one only, gonna get one only on Tony Adams here. He's gonna go for a little neck wrench. Tony's got other plans. Look at this now. Big vertical suplex, oh! High angle suplex by Big Strong, Tony Adams. Oh, little victory roll. One, two on Piper, two, woo, two and a half. Piper almost, oh, it was happened too fast for me. Piper almost got him. Oh no, Adams whipped on the cross body block. Piper making a pay with a big backbreaker. Piper now laying down the punishment. Oh, that's a shot. Can he get a big one on Tony? Not going to happen. Adams making a neutral position over his head. Oh, gorilla press slam by Tony Adams. Taking up the man from Glasgow. Look at this. Gut wrench suplex. Tony Adams getting countered out. Piper from the back. Oh, go for the back suplex down the cross body by Adams. Big tune, big tune. Hit him with it. Got the toe kick. What is this now? Got him in a power bomb clutch. Carrying him around. Oh, look at the turn buckle. Oh, the buckle bomb. Oh my God, by Tony Adams. He's got it. Yeah, you go for a pin after something like that. One, 
One on Piper. Defiant Roddy Piper is. Now getting the elbow, creating a little space. Piper now taking Adams into the corner. It's going to be Piper running Bulldog. Boom, dropped him down. Piper into a cover. Get one. We'll get two. Two off the Bulldog. That was a good Bulldog headlock by Rowdy Roddy Piper. Oh, he's charged a big one now. Piper could be looking to end it. In the sleeper. In the sleeper. He's going to put Tony to sleep. He wants him out. And Adam taps. Tony taps. Let's take a look. Let's take a look, folks. No, it's not. Uh-oh. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match, Rowdy, Roddy Piper. Oh, okay. Looks like Adam's like, got me, got me, got me. That's what you like to see right there. That's what you like to see. Yep. Snuck him on the sleeper. Tap. You got tap. Had him cinched in. Adam's fighting another day. Piper, victorious in his debut in Scuff City. Big ups to both of these men for the sportsmanship for the competition. Double bigs to Rowdy Roddy Piper getting the 20 points and the victory. All right. All right, we're going to load into our next deal here in a second. I got to take a whiz real quick. All right. Madison O'Grady is going to come out to the ring. She's got a couple things. She's got a couple things to say. And um, look, I don't want to cut promos for everybody and everything like that. You know, uh, I can talk for myself, but you know, I'll do my best transcribing what's going on. But a uh, couple things to say for Madison O'Grady. All right. And I'll just um, withhold saying anything until it's until it's there. It's probably going to be integrated. But, uh, yeah. Madison O'Grady actually, um... <sighs> no, I can't say it. I can't say it. All right. <laughs> There's a whole... I hope this loads faster when I update the PC, you know? Come on with it. One person. you all right Madison O'Grady folks Madison O'Grady already in the ring we join her in the ring now so look first of all about Madison O'Grady uh, what you might not know is that Madison O'Grady is actually the queen of the ring uh, that was a couple tournaments that I ran in April um, she's the queen of the ring, beating out 16, 16 other competitors. And uh, while you you have seen her, uh oh, <laughs> uh, a little modus interrupt us here. That's gonna be Marissa Cardinale coming out. Well, Grady's not happy about it. <laughs> oh yeah 
So what is the deal with this interruption, Marissa? Yes, you are the queen of the ring. Yeah. Uh, but what have you really done with it? Couple shots on top, could never get it done. I'm not looking to end my time here without a title belt. I say, I say, you use your lineage, you use your power, you put us together, and we go for those tag team titles. First of all, uh, the thought of teaming with someone like Marissa sickens Madison O'Grady, who's an upstanding performer, competitor. Well, Marissa Cardinale is a dirty, lying cheater, and that's just the truth. But she's got a point. She's got a point. She hasn't done anything with it, and she needs something to do before it's all said and done. I'm just saying, you and me, you work so hard, and I'll work so smart, and you and me can end our time as tag team champions. You know what? That sounds like a great idea. That sounds like a great idea. And as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, you've got me amped up. I want a match right now. Yeah, I want a match right now. Me and you versus any team in the Global Sport Council Tag Team Championship Division. Well, what do you say to that? Crowd's into it. It's happening. I'm going to go get a drink of water. Let's strategize. No, you come with me. We'll strategize. So it looks like we're going to have Madison O'Grady and Marissa Cardinale teaming up at a bid to get those Global Sport Council Tag Team Championships before it's all said and done. And that's, that's how I'll say it now. Um, things are going to be changing around here. We'll get into that. Oh, but right now, oh, it looks like, wow, Mickey James and Beth Phoenix of Truth and Consequence has answered the call. Good. We're going to get a good tag team match here. In the Global Sport Council Tag Team Championship Division, the newly formed Madison and Marissa. Madison O'Grady, the queen of the ring. Marissa Cardinale, the dirty, lying cheater. <laughs> the bombshell. I'm sorry. The bombshell. Marissa Cardinale going to be taking on two... Hall of Famers, at least one Hall of Famer. Mickey James is in the Hall of Fame probably, and that's okay too. Uh, doesn't diminish her status as one of the greatest of all time. Six times in the WWE Women's Champion. At least another three times elsewhere. All right. One of the most prolific, spanning generations. Uh, and, and one of the, <laughs> I mean, one of the better people that you can think of in women's wrestling, bar none. So... These two teams, and you'll see a couple others before we, <laughs> before we get to it, uh, before we get to it. Um, you these two ladies, these two ladies teams, to get it on. You know, Marissa was talking shit early on Madison, like, oh, well, you never won a big one. Well, Marissa never won the little one. So, you know, it's big talk coming from a bigger woman. But uh, she ain't got, she ain't got, she hasn't been backing it up. And she needs Madison as much as I think, you know, Madison might need Marissa. Because they're going against Beth Phoenix and Mickey James. And, and this division is potholed with good ass people. So uh, let's pump it up. Let's do it up. They better not come out together. Oh, God damn it. God damn it. On the it. way to the ring. That's my bad. Madison O'Grady and Marissa the Bombshell. That's my bad. That's that's a problem with the game. You see, in the game, I did a segment where they formed a tag team. You know what I'm saying? What is that costume from O'Grady? Uh, uh, I never put her in that. Not looking good. There we go. There in we go. their opponents, 
The Glamazon, Beth Phoenix, and Mickey James. Truth and Consequences. It's just truth and consequence for now. Thank you, JoJo. Beth Phoenix, the Glamazon, local time women's champion. I've already said what I had to say about Mickey James, but uh, the greatest women match in WrestleMania history, Mickey James versus Trish Stratus at WrestleMania 20. Go! Okay? The best build for the best match. All right? You can take these new era, or you can leave these new era. But that's where it was at, all right? Back when shit actually meant a damn. You know what I mean? Yeah, eager to get this one going. Tag team exhibition match. A grading card knowledge, truth and consequence. It's gonna be Phoenix and O'Grady starting things off, meeting center of the ring. O'Grady with a couple shots. Feigns the attack. Oh, the hammer throw tanks Phoenix down into the corner. Hmm. Let's see what they trick Beth Phoenix. They're going back and forth here. Nice European up that counter by Vanishing O'Grady. The hair whip. Look out, ref. Look out. A little bit of a hair. A little bit of a hair takedown there. Nice European up cut of Beth Phoenix's own. Sending O'Grady into the ropes. Meeting her. Oh, go for the belly to belly. Blocked by O'Grady. The queen of the ring's not playing around tonight. Can't get the tag to Cardinale Phoenix. Getting the move. Beth Phoenix looking to take it to a nice forearm shiver. Oh, catches her from behind. Oh, ho, ho. The neck breaker onto the knee. Beth Phoenix now. Send no grading to the bad part of town. Big, big clothesline into the corner. Yeah, Mickey James seen it coming too. I don't know if you noticed that. Big impact. Oh, Grady now. They are going back and forth. Gonna try to drag Phoenix across the ring. Not gonna make it. Not gonna make it. I knew it. Phoenix getting out of that, getting out of that situation pretty easy. And now taking O'Grady back into that favored corner. Gonna get the tag to Phoenix. I mean, Phoenix getting the tag to Mickey James, rather. Sending O'Grady off the ropes. Double team effort. Nice big back body drop. Truth and consequence. O'Grady with a single leg trip. Oh, counter and get the fuck out. We're gonna get a nice matchup here. Cardinale and James. Mickey James taking Cardinale into the corner. It's coming off. Catches her with a nice side brush and leg sweep. And it's gonna be. I was gonna say it's no, it's Mickey James, but Cardinale getting out of that. Mickey James rolling out of harm's way here. Oh, and Cardinale not getting the bait, meeting her outside. What is this suplex toss on the outside immediately? Oh, Cardinale, come on now. Big time impact. Go oh, sit down, power bomb onto the outside net. Ref is counting, calling him back in. Knife edge chop. Hurricane Rana. Rep to four and look at Cardinale, folks. She's got it all for you. Maybe a little something extra. Tonight's any standard. To six. Rep to six. You got to get her in the ring here. Off the apron instead. All right, that's enough, Cardinale. And it's Mickey James sending Marissa Cardinale back in the ring there. Jeez, Mickey James ate it on that exchange. 115%. Little shot by James. Oh, up the ropes. Nice bulldog. Combination maneuver. James, yeah, wasn't sure for a second, but she opts to tag out. I say good move. She got rocked on that. Seriously. Phoenix's turn against Cardinale. Nice jump breaker. Counter. Where's the Cardinale running close line? Ducked by Phoenix. Who takes down Cardinale? Little sequence there. European uppercut by Cardinale, rocks Beth Phoenix. And it's Phoenix taken into the corner. Front hands bring close line. Takes her ass down, Cardinale's on fucking fire, folks. Jump breaker counter by Phoenix. Could be the last gasp of a dying team. Running close line says otherwise. Oh, the big tag to O'Grady. The fresh O'Grady coming in now. Had a chance to rest. She slutted it up. She went to the back and put on her sluttier outfit. And I'm just saying that because Mercer Cardinale dresses slutty. Now James getting into the ring. Oh, we're going to see another double team attempt here. Not the body drop. Body fake me right there with the flapjack. James for the pin. Two. Cardinale was out, outside of the ring. Was not able to block. 
Good on O'Grady for getting that kick out. Nice stomp to the fucking head by Nikki James. Chop breaker countered by O'Grady. Neutral position. Front flip. Whoa! Running flip Rana. She's going to get a try off of that. One. No one in the block. Two. Gets two on Nikki James. Would have been a big time win for O'Grady. Even though she is the queen of the ring, I should say, I'm sure uh, a victory. Never mind. Nikki James taking control, getting a tag to Beth Phoenix. Oh, now look at this double team. Hurricane Rana stock exchange power bomb. Oh my God. No tag for O'Grady. She's got kicks Phoenix out. She's hurting for certain, but pressing, but pressing on Phoenix. O'Grady now getting reverse set into the ropes. Beth Phoenix back elbow taking down Madison O'Grady. Phoenix, what do you got here? Wheelbarrow clutch. Boom! Half a glam slam. Wait, what is this combo? Look at this. Look at the. Oh, O'Grady oh, wants no part of it. She wants no part of that maneuver. Gone for good fucking reason. That would have been it. That would have been it. O'Grady oh, staying alive. Super kick! Madison O'Grady oh, into the pin! Into the pin! Nikki James the block one! Gets it. O'Grady going after James, not a good move. She's not legal, let her leave, just let her go. O'Grady with some attitude towards Mickey James there. You need to keep your eye on the pledge if you an uppercut. That Phoenix, oh, straight right block. Shot by O'Grady, takes her down, and again with the back elbow. Looking to send, Beth Phoenix, no. Counters, no, slips out, O'Grady. Whoa! High kick outside of the ropes. Okay, she's gonna sneak back in. Neutral position. Oh, Phoenix making her pay for waiting. O'Grady counters. Phoenix counters, center of the ring. Neutral position. Beth Phoenix looking to get out of this. Looking to get out right now. No! O'Grady says no. Nikki James trying to stop the assault. Can't do it. O'Grady's on fucking fire now. Look at this. That stomps, the straight stomps to Beth Phoenix. Look at the stomp. Oh, Cardinale tagging in. Oh, matching the stomp, matching the... Oh, Brady in. What is this now? Continuing, continuing. Oh, so many stomps. And Cardinal, what are they going to finish it off? Big drop kick into the floor. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Cardinal is going to try to end it. No one in the block. It's going to be Phoenix. Kicking out at two, what an onslaught. And Cardinale, pick her up by the throat, and he even holds! That's scary power by Marissa Cardinale. Beth Phoenix needs to show some of that glam on scared she's gonna get out of this. Cardinale, gets slipped out. Nice, execution, DDT! Yeah, planning her, now get out. Truth and Consequence is hurting, hurting right now. They've had it taken to him. 100%. Don't forget, Mickey James getting it outside of the ring. Look at this over her head. Ho oh, ho! Reps pulling right. It just drops her ass on her face. James is in a bad way. Mickey James counters out, out of instinct. Back elbow. Where's the Cardinale? Sending the front hand spring. No! James slipped out the last second. James Crucifix bomb out of nowhere. James looking for a big shot, not gonna get it at this moment. Double arm wrench by Cardinale. Spins James around, sends her into her favored corner. Looking to tag in O'Grady, not gonna happen. Nikki James sending Cardinale to the turnbuckle. <laughs> and Nikki James says, I was fine all along. Cardinale says, you think I'm done? Look at this, back into her own corner now. The race to tag is on. Oh, maybe not. Look at Cardinale. Oh! Just dumping Mickey James to the outside. Wait, what she got in mind? Cardinale through the ropes. Wow! Through the ropes drop kick there. I don't I don't think I've seen that. Cardinale out with the, out with Mickey James rather. Not a good look for James right now. Oh! Huge! Huge flapjack on the outside! Bust the face of Cardinale! Yeah, they're fighting outside of the ring now, aren't they? Four, wrapped up four. 
Oh, the receipt from earlier. Cardinale's face into the hard apron there. Yep, she got she got it back, sent it back to the ring. Could it be true the consequence playing the honor game on Cardinale? Look at this, Mickey DT floats over, swinging DDT right into the pinfall. Everyone in the block, everyone in the stop. Phoenix is gonna get it. Oh, and Cardinale out at two for the Mickey DDT. Decent drop kick missed. Cardinale gets the advantage here. Overhead one more time. Pulling reps. Gonna drop her. Oh, big impact. Cardinale. Right now, it's a war of attrition right now. Who can get the three? Big clothesline. And another Cardinale looking to heat up off the ropes. Big jumping clothesline. Good three piece to Mickey James right here. Cardinale in again. And again, you can do all the reps you want, but can you end the match? Mickey James is out of commission. Center of the ring. One, two, Mickey James. Mickey James out after all that. Kicks out at two on her own. What is this now? Nice running clothesline takedown. Beth Phoenix is out somewhere. She's out to lunch. Mickey James looking to put her feet on her. Yeah, one. McCardinale, who is this woman? Overhead slap, Phoenix is up. Big running drop toe hold by Cardinale. Stops James at the pass here. Look at this. And she's gonna get her, that big swing around. Cardinale, too much, too much at this stage of the match. Who does she think she is? Off the swing, the ultimate embarrassment. One, two, no one to block. Beth Phoenix, what are you doing? Beth Phoenix, what are you doing? It's an eliminator. Oh my god, it's an eliminator. Oh, I forgot. Okay, Beth Phoenix now going it alone. Dragon Sleeper, she's got to fight for her team now. Nikki James got run roughshod by Marissa Cardinale. But how, at what cost? To, oh, oh my god, the back of Madison O'Grady's head off the turnbuckle while she was dropping there. Pinfall attempt. One. Cardinale not the block. Gonna get two only. Two only on Madison O'Grady. I hope Phoenix. I hope Phoenix is ready to rise here. No fucking joke. Because it doesn't look good for truth or consequence at this point. Madison O'Grady getting put through the motions. Drop record counter. O'Grady running off. Oh, oh! Ends up whipping due to Beth Phoenix. O'Grady. With him. Oh, look at it! A round off elbow! They both got runners! The running run off the flip runner! Oh, Grady! My God! Oh, wow! Yeah, I'd take a second, too! I would take just a second. Oh, Grady looking to finish off Beth Phoenix and this match. Big boot! Fighting out of the corner is Beth Phoenix! Gets up Grady away from the corner. Boom! That was a big time close line into the corner. Cardinale's trying to ramp herself up. Look at this! Tilt a whirl! Argentine clutch backbreaker! And O'Grady floats with an arm drag counter! I can't believe it! Off the ropes goes Phoenix. Crossbody blocked by Beth. Oh! Overhead shot. There it is! The glam slam! Ooh! And again with the hard one. No, it's gonna be a rope break! A rope break! Beth Phoenix, you're a Hall of Famer. You don't do rope breaks. They're getting outclassed and outmatched. Oh, the super kick. And it just falls into them. Yeah, and that's going to be a rope break, too. And that's going to be a rope break, too. You'd expect something like that from O'Grady. She is in her rookie year. Cardinale looking to pick up the pieces. Look at this. No, no, no. I see it coming. Come on, ref. Feet on the rope. One, two. The embarrassment. Look at this flip run on the Mickey James. She got run rough shot. You can't deny that. 115%. They both got run rough shot. Madison O'Grady, super impressive. That was a super kick that landed big time. In the end, oh yeah, look at this. After about 19 consecutive stomps, my God. 
reps all day for Marissa Cardinale. This is insanity. Insanity. Here are your winners, Madison O'Grady and Marissa the Bombshell. So to recap the falls, Marissa Cardinale pinned Mickey James first with a giant swing. And then Marissa Cardinale second, pinned Beth Phoenix with both feet on the ropes after Beth Phoenix was completely incapacitated. In embarrassing fashion, truth or consequence moves down the bench, my friends. Wow, big up to Marissa Cardinale and Madison O'Grady. Woo! Before it's all over, before it's all over, they want that marquee. And I'm inclined to give it to him after a performance like that. We'll see how it goes before it happens. Uh, moving on. All right. <clears throat> moving on. This is going to take a little while to load. So. Basically. I have a couple few announcements to make um, regarding first myself, second the Globe Board Council Television Tag Team Championships, and third um, the future of this company at large. So um, as we get ready, we get set. I'm going to come into the arena. So I can say what I gotta say. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, I, I started. I started in this league a long time ago, and uh, my biggest dream was just to make it onto a big stage and just just show who I was and what I was all about um, to a big group of people and, and, and show out in the biggest way that I, I possibly could. And for the past eight months, I think I've done that on television for you guys um, here in Scott City and all around the world. <clears throat> I put it all on the line against Chris Jericho. And all I have to say to him is congratulations. I don't want to talk about my series of matches or anything like that. Um, beyond, beyond the King of Games run, I've, I've been lost for a long time. And uh, I used to win world championships, and now, now I can't win an exhibition match to save my life. So I don't know what I got to do, but I got to do something. And... I, I can't I can't do it in the ring. So I gotta go. I don't have I don't have what it takes to face the level of talent and competition in this league. And I have to go and find myself. Um, <laughs> All right. So I'm sure Samoa Joe is really curious about what I have to say about the television tag team championships, seeing as how he's got one of them. And while we're all so heartbroken to know that I can't hack it anymore, there's active competitors that are really interested in their futures. So, all right, Joe. Well, uh, as you know, as you know, Kurt Xenon circa 1993 has been around to the shows for a long time. And what I can say publicly 
is that he will no longer be part of the Global Sport Council. So that means that I am stripping you and him of the television tag team titles. What? Yeah. Uh, Smojo is pretty pissed off about that. So what the fuck does that mean? So what the fuck does that mean for Smojo, one of the greatest of all time, and one of the baddest actions that's ever lived? You just take a belt away and that's it? You that and that's it? No. No, that's not it. That's actually not it, Joe. You see, there's a round robin series for the WWE title that's been going a long time. And unfortunately, time is one thing I don't have anymore. We're cinching it up, and we're moving on. We're packing up, and we're heading out. Greener pastures and new lands. Goldberg is out. You're it. You're it. Joe thinks I'm fucking with him. I'm not fucking with him. You got Goldberg's place. I got the brackets right here. I got the brackets right here. You are in the first round facing the almighty WWE champion, Bobby Lashley. How's that? How's that? This tournament starts about right now, tonight. You and Lashley beat in, move on to the semifinals, and we will see who becomes the WWE champion when it all goes down. So you think you can just fuck with people's lives and skirt away? And skirt away. Fantastic. Fantastic. Joe is going to beat the fuck out of Lashley tonight, is what I'm gaining out of this. And I better hope that I stay gone, because coming back is going to just be the worst thing that I could do for myself. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh! And they're fighting! They're, they're fighting! Andrews! What was that exchange? The heads up from Andrews! And Joe, belly up, belly! Suplex! What was Andrews thinking? What was Andrews thinking? Samoa Joe! Oh no! The kicks! The kicks! The kicks to the head! Oh my goodness! Talking smack! And Andrews is tough! Shoulder block. They're going, they're just going at it right here. The shot block. Oh, the slap to the face. Cut the legs out from Andrews. Small joke. Oh, inside of the leg. Oh, I can tell I wasn't ready for this. Oh, the kick to the death. Small and Joe running it hard. Well, how can you blame him? What was I thinking? The big headbutt. And now, and now the toss. Oh, the clothesline. The rest are to break this up. The rest are to break this up. Get away, would it? Oh, no. And the ref now. The ref's in the ring. And they're squaring off. And they're squaring. Oh. Uh, go. Uh, I'll just say this to Samoa Joe. There's something about you that I don't like. And I'm leaving. And you better hope I don't figure out what it is that I don't like about you. You know, you and the fucking collective. You and the collective. All of you. All of you. Good luck. Good luck in your match against Bobby Lashley, my friend. And that's coming up next in our main event of the evening. What the hell's going on around here? So listen, folks, I'm going to take this opportunity before I get into this match to make the announcement that the Global Sport Council is moving off of PlayStation. That's right, quick action in all subsequent shows. <laughs> Not all subsequent shows. 
Quick action, man. Global Sport Council Wrestling League is moving to PC. Full PC mod. Huge, huge roster update. Huge, huge title update. Big things, big things are coming. And while we're here on PlayStation, we're cinching it all up. And it's all done. This is it. One last time in the old style. We got big things lined up on PC already. The card for this last show, this is it. It's gonna be called This Is It. Is already is already booked. Not all the competitors, but all the matches are set. All the titles that are gonna be on the line are set, including the WWE Championship. Well, the Global Sport Council lineage WWE Championship. Okay. Brown Robin series. We got to 21 of 56 matches. And I was content to let this play out until that happened. But unfortunately, Goldberg will not be able to make the move to PC. He's been replaced by either Al Snow or uh, Chris Statlander. You know, Goldberg's gone. Okay? He needed a replacement because we are finishing this up. We're not going to 56. These eight now are seeded by their ranking, their current ranking. We'll be in the tournament from now till it's all over, and this is it. And your, this will be your first, first round match, your first quarterfinal match. Samoa Joe, the former Global Sport Council Television Tag Team Champion, is gonna be coming out with Big Dave Meltzer. They're kind of the two that started this whole wacky idea, aren't they? Going up against the current reigning, defending WWE Champion, the almighty Bobby Lashley coming out with Montel Vontavious Porter. He is the WWE Champion. But for how long? It could be all over tonight at the hands of fucking pissed off Samoa Joe. Yeah, and I hope he's super pissed off. He's got a little motivation of now that I gave him that headbutt. Hey, hey, I got it from you. Let's pump it up, let's load it up. Our main event. This is it. This is it. Since April, my friends. All right, 
Long time. <laughs> well, before April. Before you've seen it on TV, to be perfectly honest. So, I mean, take that for what it's worth. But it's been a long, long road. And you are seeing the number five currently ranked. We're not even we weren't even halfway through the series. But the number five, Bobby Lashley, taking on the replaced number four, Samoa Joe. And you want to talk about stakes, my man? They don't get much bigger than this. Samoa Joe frothing at the mouth. Bobby Lashley ready to defend. It could be all over tonight in this matchup. Center of the ring. Oh, wow, what a back toss by Joe to start it off. Huge impact. Huge, huge impact by Joe. And the power of Lashley coming into play right there. Oh, the mount and the punches. Joe's getting his hands up. He's not, oh, he's not blocked. Oh, oh. Oh, oh! Huge right hands! He may have blocked a couple of them. What is this? And just calling him up already. Huge shot by Lashley. Draped into the ropes. Joe hung out that drive. Boom! Big time bump in the middle of the ring. Lashley in control right here, it looks like. And just gonna heave home out of the ring. Lashley taking Joe out of the ring. Taking a second to follow. Adjust your tights. Take your time. He's the big man. Oh, Joe with the headbutt. Jab blocked. Countered by Lashley. And a clothesline takes down Samoa Joe. Rep to three. He said, get in. Get in. <laughs> get in the fucking ring. Headlock takeover. And a nice elbow drop to the arm. Rep to four now. They're going to keep it going out here. Oh, bye. Big knee raise. Ref's not fucking with his count now. On the rampway, ref is seven. Joe taking him in once more with the chicanery. <coughs> Eats a body blow. Lashley misses the second. Comes back with a whip to the corner. Joe eats a shoulder block to the back. Oh my goodness. And it's been pretty much Lashley. This match back body drop counter by Snow Joe. And a single leg trip by Lashley, maintaining his control right here in this match. For him, every match is for the WWE Championship right now. Um, everyone's fighting to gain it. He's the only one that can lose it. And it could be tonight against Samoa Joe. Looking to pick up the pace. Oh, up the sent on. Oh, 285 pounds. He got all the way on Bobby Lashley with that sent on splash. Look at this. Roughs him up, pulls him up. Stump puller suplex. Boom, boom, boom. Called him out like he called me out earlier. Oh, the fake block. Oh, what a big boot to the face. Repeated shots of both. Oh! Joe avalanching Lashley into the corner. Pulling him up and hang in there, both in drive one time. Joe in control now. Center of the ring. Lashley trying to power out of the lock. Whew. Excuse me. Lashley taking out Joe with a clothesline. Off the top, Bobby Lashley, could it? Big, oh, Max handle the back of the neck. Going for a pinfall attempt. Hooks the far leg. Gonna get run on Joe off of that maneuver. Lashley looking to get that advantage back. Mojo way beyond his feet. Look at that, Mojo Vertical suplex. And he's holding him. And he's holding him. Oh, Joe trying to wiggle out. Joe trying to wiggle out. He's not gonna be able to. He's not gonna be able to. Lashley's got him held. Oh, with one arm. 285 pounds on his back. My God in heaven. Uh oh, he's calling him up. He's ready the spear. Shotgun blast. Oh, oh. No way. Joe caught him. Caught him in a DDT. There was no flip. He caught him and pulled him into a DDT. Stop with Joe with the big time. He's stalking Lashley. Stalking Lashley now. Misses the shot, comes in close, hits the second right now. And the sweeper, the Kokina clutch, the Kokina, body scissors, Kokina clutch. Lashley's in trouble, Lashley's in deep trouble right now. Can he get out of the Kokina? Can he survive? Show wrenching it, wrenching with everything he's got. Oh, he has to relinquish the hold. Whew, Lashley. Arm takeover. Yet yeah, he's postulating the crowd, but he's taking three seconds to get a breath. Oh, big clothesline. Oh, ducks under one from Joe. Back body drop to Samoa Joe. 
on the wares. Spinebuster. The Lashley Spinebuster. Three big time impacts in a row by Bobby Lashley. Oh, and a second. Way high sky. Spinebuster. My God, where are my lips today? Samoa Joe bringing it right back. These two horses to the nail at this point. Titan sent his neck wrench. Like I said, Quentin Lashley through the motions. Joe ain't come this far tonight to lose out now. And Lashley ain't come so far this year to lose out now. What's going to give? Oh, they're not playing any kind of soft with each other. Big close line by Bobby Lashley. Looking to just keep the pain moving. And it's Joe on the counter. Big shoulder block. Throws him right back up. Slow Joe. Snap, suplex, no, vertical. Lashley getting out of it. Look at this. Get a power bomb the big Samoa Joe. Oh. The Dominator. And that's got to be it for Joe. Rex got to get in position here. One, two on Joe. He's going to be out at two. He's going to be out at two. Solid two. I wouldn't even attribute that to the ref. It was a solid two. Joe might still be in this. Fireman's carry takeover, as I say it. Joe lands some shots. Oh, Lashley's rolling out by Mel Look at Meltzer! Meltzer's pulling up Lashley, sending him back in the ring. Lashley needed a second. Lashley needed a minute. Meltzer didn't give it to him. Now it's Lashley fighting with his last breaths. Getting the fireman's carry. Launching Joe over the top. Yeah, he, he needed a second. Look at that. See that? He needed some time. He gained it with Joe. They're going to fight outside of the ring again. Oh, Joe spinning back. Elbow there. Counter out. And it's actually back and forth outside of the ring. This is dangerous territory. The ref's not stunting his count here. Lashley sending Joe into the ring. All right. Oh, smashed him. Smashed his face on the apron. And oh, the raised knee. The knee to the face of Joe. Lashley's got him. Crosshair on Joe. Look at Joe. Out of instinct. And Lashley recounters from the back. Multiple shots. Joe can't block. Swipe takes one. Lashley back against snap jab. Joe comes out with a kick. Running. Came the move. Lashley comes out. Two kick. Lashley now. Big, big spine buster. What a sequence. And it took it out of Lashley as much as it took it out of Joe at this point. Gasping for air, he's gassed up. Look at Melter. Look at Lashley distracted by Melter. And Joe's taking him outside of the ring. Continue the pain. Look at Joe. Stunts on the Lashley. Melter. The big, the big time uh, assist right there. Excuse me. The interference. Oh, and Lashley coming back. Spear! Spear! He hit that one! He hit that one on Joe! Got to go from the count here. One, two, no rope break. It's going to be great! Lashley! Lashley spear! Lashley with the spear! Well, let's take a look, folks. That was a huge stalling vertical suplex right there. Coquina clutch was blocked in forever and a day. Lashley survived it. Look at this. One of two huge spine busters. Sky high spine busters. Back and forth action. The whole match. Not one man waiver the whole time. That's the second of two big time sky high spine busters. Here is your winner, Bobby Lashley. And by the way, and still, Bubble Corp Council lineage, WWE champion, the almighty Bobby that's what's up. That's what's up, Bobby Lashley. Let me write that down. All right. Whew. Smo Joe. Fought valiantly, man. You fought valiantly. But um, not only are you not going to move on in the WWE Championship Tournament, 
you also are not a tag team champion anymore. And I and I'm sorry about that. But uh, you, you gotta understand. You just gotta understand that's how these things go from time to time. And sometimes you win, and sometimes you lose. All right. Uh. You know, to be honest, I can't I can't comment on my beef with you right now, because I, I don't really got a beef with you. You know, like the most I can really say is, you, like I feel like maybe you disrespected me. I don't know so much about you coming out to interrupt what I was trying to say. I mean, uh, I was gonna ask you to come out and talk to you like a man anyway. You know what I mean? Um, I'm the founder of this company. I'm the founder of this company. Uh, and you're on TV because of me. Uh, that's just that's just what it is. You know what I mean? Um, I wasn't dressed to compete, man. I wasn't. Dressed, I, I wasn't. You know, this is just me coming to say goodbye. You know what I mean? And you want to come out and needle at me? You know? If you could have won tonight, you would have won tonight. That's all I got to say about that. Things are gonna be moving forward. Sorry, man. Pretty soon. It's all gonna be over. It's all gonna be over. So, um, you know, you you have your table made. <laughs> you have your table made till next year, my man. Um, enjoy the holidays, and I hope you guys enjoy your holidays. If I'm not live before then, but I, I fucking will be. So, you guys stay cool and stay hot, man. Be good to each other, and we'll see you on down the line. Quick action. All right.